Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you if you are one of my returning subscribers. If you aren't, this is a channel where I upload videos about brands or pieces that I'm picking up from brands around the world. If you wouldn't mind, I really appreciate it. Consider hitting that like button. Consider hitting that red, that cherry red subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. Now, in today's video, we have an interesting piece. If you remember the super hype, kind of surprise drop, the PlayStation dunks that came out, I think back in November. This is a hoodie from that collab. This specifically is a hoodie. I think it cost me $98 plus shipping. No, that shipping was not free. I'm gonna unbox it. We're gonna look at the quality and then we're gonna try it on. So I ordered this, I believe November, let me check my notes, November 13th. They said four to six weeks. That was about right. That was, that was about um, six weeks, maybe a little longer. Let's see what's inside. Boom. Always recycle. PlayStation. PlayStation. See, Cactus Jack PlayStation, the product number black large. The black one, $98. Before I open this up, I will say, I bought from the last Cactus Jack collab with McDonald's. I think it's safe to say pretty much everyone was disappointed. The renderings on the website um, were not actual pictures of the clothes, they were renderings. And they really made it look like it was gonna be some Cactus Plank flea market drop with Yeezy blanks super high quality stuff with big puff print. That's not at all what we got. If you go look at my video on that uh, collab, I bought four pieces and you know, they were Gildan blanks. You got a Heather gray as opposed to like a slate or, you know, creamy Yeezy blank. That was super thick. No, we got Gildan. So I don't know who wants to buy that from me. Um, yeah, so hopefully this is gonna be a little different, a little bit higher quality. You can already, already tell the letters are embroidered. They're not printed on. Let's open it up. Here we are. All right, we got a big kangaroo pouch on the front. This is called the motherboard hoodie. Okay, as I'm unwrapping it, we got the Cactus Jack logo down here on the bottom left of the front. And the reason it's called the motherboard hoodie, you got a PlayStation on the front. On the back, we've got a very nice puff print motherboard. So I'll get a close up on that, but already huge improvement from the McDonald's collab. So. Go check out that McDonald's collab video, but this is that big puff print that I was hoping from the McDonald's collab. Now we have actually really nice detail on the motherboard. I mean, and just compare that in this video, you can see through this packaging. It was really thin puff print on, on all the McDonald's stuff. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice and meaty. Um, Wow, really all the detail is there. Um, and there's color on the puff print, I really like that. In black print, it says Cactus Jack Entertainment Inc. Um, on there. On the inside, you have a fleece. Um, nothing special about that. And a drawstring, nothing special. The aglet, nothing special. On the inside, let's see. Yeah, you can see a label was cut away, you know, it was probably a Gildan blank, something of that nature, so nothing, nothing crazy. Then you have Cactus Jack information printed on there. So first impression before I try this on, I'm very happy they actually did a nice puff print as opposed to the McDonald's collab. Is it worth $98? Um, that's another conversation, but it's at least a huge step up from what I'm pretty sure was a $95 sweatshirt um you know this puff print's way better if they did something like this on this shirt it would have gone crazy 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 tough um with this all over print but um alas here we are i'm gonna try this on and show you what it looks like 
So here is the hoodie on body. The first thing I noticed when I put this on is the fit. So this is a large, I always buy large hoodies. And the length of the sleeve is the first thing that stuck out. It kind of like came back a little bit um, when I put it on. Typically when I'm buying a large hoodie, I'm about six feet tall. I like to have it come at least, you know, to the beginning of my thumb. So there's a good inch, maybe, maybe up to two inches that I would like to have on the sleeve that I'm not getting. I'd also note um, for the quality, it's it's a little thin. Um, you know, I, I, the, the Supreme hoodie, I would say is noticeably heavier. You can see what that looks like in my Supreme quality check video. But I like the look, I'm really glad. Again, this is embroidered, it's not printed on. It's none of that bad, really thin puff print. Um, you know, the kangaroo pocket's fine. I think it's at a good, good spot. I'll show you the back real quick. <clears throat> yeah, and even putting on the hoodie, I, I felt the, the, putting on the hood, I felt this come up just a little bit. It's like just slightly small for a large. Um, so if you're a large, extra large, you definitely need to, to have an extra large in this. I'd say it's, it's really like, um, like a medium large kind of fit. So don't let the large tag fool you. If you are true to size, then it's definitely gonna be fine. But I wanna know your guys' thoughts. What do you think about the quality based on this video? What do you think about the design? Please leave a comment. Again, hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time.